As I get too old, too lazy, and too scatterbrained to benefit much from philosophy books, I find myself watching more and more movies, like The Man Who Knew Infinity. That man was Srinivasa Ramanujan, an Indian mathematician born in 1887. He had little formal training, yet he made stunning contributions in areas of mathematical analysis, number theory, infinite series, and continued fractions, including solutions to mathematical problems considered to be unsolvable. This is all a mystery to me, a guy who can't even bring himself to balance his checkbook, but I do appreciate that it's all about the thrill of discovery and the brute force of a mighty intellect taking on the world. But what does it have to do with belief? Well, I tend to think of math as a totally cerebral undertaking, very logical and certainly light years away from supernatural and metaphysical beliefs of any sort. Yet Ramanujan was a devout Hindu. It took him three months to inform the Cambridge scholars that he could join them in England because he had to wait for approval from the goddess Namagiri, which came in a dream. Later, when asked where he got his mathematical ideas and abilities, Ramanujan said they came from a goddess. An equation has no meaning unless it expresses a thought of God, he said. This came as something of a shock to his mentor, G.H. Hardy, a proper British atheist and friend of the great doubter, Bertrand Russell. It must also come as a shock to us too, if we're Christian, Jew, or Muslim, because according to our monotheistic beliefs, all those multi-armed Hindu deities are simply wild fictions, nothing more than a fantasy or mythology worthy of comic book material, as one source says. So we must wonder, how could Ramanujan imagine that his world-class mathematical brilliance came from a deity? Because that's how belief works. It seems to bypass the brain, or infect the brain, or hijack the brain, yet it sometimes leaves the intellectual powers intact. Well, sort of. So watch the movie and see if you don't find yourself wondering. If the stunningly brilliant Ramanujan could be so wrong about belief, who among us, with only normal brain power, can claim our ideas add up to truth? Do the math. What are the odds? It does not compute. And who's going to argue with the man who knew infinity? Not a guy who can't even balance his checkbook.